So we're here at Anfield Cemetery this morning um, for the rededication of the grave of Thomas Keats, Everton director and historian. Um, I first found his broken, tumbled down gravestone um, towards the end of 2020 um, while I was researching graves all over Anfield Cemetery. And we had it turned over, checked that it was the, the right one and um, managed to trace some living family down in Wales who have come up to join us today. Um, and we're going to have a few readings and uh, basically telling the story of Thomas Keats and what an important person he was in preserving the, the history of Everton from the early days with his 1928-29 um, um, Jubilee history book. The club's absolutely delighted uh, with what Everton Heritage Society are doing uh, with the grave rededications. Uh, we work very closely with the society, have done for a long time. I mean, they hold their regular meetings on our club premises in the Royal Liver buildings uh, because we appreciate uh, the work that they do, preserving, celebrating and, and cherishing the history of the football club that you know we, we all hold so dear. So yeah, this latest grave rededication is, is very important to us because Thomas Keats is one of the I suppose the unsung heroes of the Everton story. Um, some of the, you know, are referred to as the original Everton Oracle. I mean, so much of the uh, the information that we know about the football club, especially from the early days, from the St. Domingo's days, uh, was committed to print by him. And without him, we certainly wouldn't know as much as we know now. I mean, it's that old catchphrase, isn't it? If you know your history, we're very, very proud of that catchphrase. And uh, we know an awful lot more about our history because of the works of people like Thomas Keats. So, yeah, we're delighted about what the society have done today. Uh, it's, it's a very significant memorial and uh, it will be here for you know, sort of passes by to, to spot and to hopefully learn more about Everton Football Club and him. Um, so I have a great interest in um, family history. Um, Jamie got in touch with, with us uh, through, through Ancestry, um, trying to find Thomas, Thomas Keats's family. It told me all about Thomas and, and what a fantastic man he was. So yes, I found it very, very interesting and, and uh, really wanted to be part of it. Yeah, and to find out more and to celebrate the fantastic person that Thomas was. And it was, it was a, great, a great surprise and a, night, a lovely pleasure um, to be asked to come and you know and uh, attend the ceremony. Really, really nice, and the amount of people that have turned out as well. It's overwhelming. Really, really very good. And it's been a pleasure, a real pleasure. Yeah. But uh, if it wasn't for Laura um, looking up on the the an ancestry, we wouldn't really have um, uh, known. Yeah. Yes, and it's sort of. I had no, no idea what um, what a wonderful person w would be in our family, just just like him and and the difference he'd made for, for Everton Football Club. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was learning a bit about today as well about how he campaigned for like free um, you know school free schools for all, and that was a that's a big thing as well. So it's uh, so again sort of the football's great, but it's also the extra bits that he's done. So it's all nice. It's just an incredible day to see so many familiar. Evertonian faces here, people I know, people like Sir Ken Rogers who have been heroes to me as a, 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 a voracious reader of Everton books over the years, people I've looked up to and I'm, now I'm working alongside, but then to have the actual um, family, some actual Keats um, blood here, you know, standing beside the grave, interested in it, looking at the, uh, looking at the book and interacting with people is just incredible. These, these people are Everton royalty to me.